What's good? It's Thomas Rod with TR Mentality, man. Before we get into the video, make sure y'all own your own shit. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why YouTube producers are struggling to make money. Let's get into the intro. <laughs> Now, before we go any further in this video, man, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man, and follow me on Instagram at Tomless Rock Music. And also, make sure you share this video with anybody that can relate and need this information. Now, this video ain't gonna be no type of bashing video or nothing like that. When it comes to what producers charge for their beats and everything like that, they're entitled to charge whatever they wanna charge, however much they wanna charge. We know how the game go. But the biggest thing I wanna touch on in this video, man, why don't you producers follow up with the artists? When you got somebody who buy your beats and everything like that, showing that they're loyal they might buy multiple beats from you y'all be having the promos where it's like buy one get two free buy one get one free why don't y'all follow up with any artists to go ahead and grow your community and network why don't y'all provide any type of value to the artist that's made a song on your beat now obviously you know it might be a lot of people that buy your beats and everything where you can't really check out everybody but it's like yo y'all be at a point where y'all just completely oblivious to whatever's going on on y'all beat and this just from what i've seen when you look at the game and you see all these producers that's in the game and doing numbers and everything like that a lot of the time these producers they worked with one specific artist for a lot of the time or even a couple but you know they stuck with a core amount of people and then they grew together the artist grew and the producer grew and you know they created a sound together and they built that sound up so i'll be wanting to know why don't you producers on youtube look at it the same exact way that you see people doing it when they actually become successful in the game so you know i've been looking at this for a little while and it's like what do the producer really offer for the artist of course it's a beat you know y'all made a great song together and of course you offered the beat but then it comes in what value do you bring if you're a producer what value do you bring to the artist so what i see the artist had to buy the beat market the song by themselves pay for the music video and just overall push the song to make it become what they wanted to become and of course like i said you're entitled to charge what you charge for the beat and of course you're going to get your percentages because obviously you worked on half the song but do y'all not look at it like damn bro i should be kind of offering a little something like go on instagram and look at some of these producers pages the only things you see them post is like placements from people who's already established in the game when we know it's a lot of upcoming artists with talent that's making great music and i know they had to have came across some the way i look at it man it's a lot of artists out here that get on your beats that you post on youtube or your beat store and i see a lot of producers that's making no effort to follow up but i wonder like why don't you try to build your community and just build your brand overall as a producer now y'all can let me know if i'm wrong in this video and everything like i said i'm not here to tell nobody what to do Dude, this is just my look on it and shit we could talk about it in the comments man but look bro i'm gonna leave this video on that note like i said man y'all go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this topic and also leave a like on the video man and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and i'm out of here man why we really fighting when we looking for love because one plus one equals two i've been thinking about you in my long time i'll be trying to call you